Good morning all. So I was in Lidl yesterday and I noticed they'd knocked down the price of some of these uh, 12 volt lithium ion battery packs. So this one was uh, 8.99 reduced to 6.29. So in there you've got three 2 amp hour cells. Um, interesting to see what they are. Let's take this apart. But I found an even better deal which was this one. Again, it's the 12 volt um, system, 12 volt team, and this one is four amp hours. Now there's a funny button on the top of this one, which this one doesn't have. Don't quite know why. So I, I, what I'm guessing is that there are two cells in the in the turret piece here, and four cells in the bottom. That lo looks like it would take four cells. So that's six cells uh, in a series parallel arrangement. Again, these will be two amp hour cells because it's a four amp hour battery six cells for £10.49. That's £1.75 per cell. Pretty good. So what kind of cells do we get? Let's cut this thing open. Um, there do look like there are a couple of screws in this one. So with any luck I can get this apart and see what you get for your very little money. So I'm thinking this is possibly quite a good way of getting your hands on 18650 lithium ion cells because these battery packs are becoming so ubiquitous in supermarkets because these uh, low cost power tools are starting to become very common and they're cheap. So is this now the best way of getting brand new Lithium-ion 18650 cells. Oh, So a couple of MOSFETs here, which are probably for low voltage cutoff so that you can't drain this below about three volts per cell. Actually, it might go a bit lower than that, possibly to extract a bit more juice out of this pack. There's a controller of some sort here. I can't see any large resistors other than this one but this is perhaps an overcurrent detect. It actually says 1M0, but I can't believe it's a milliohm. It is a resistor because it's got an R next to it. It's not an inductor. There are some resistors here, and they've got funny codes like O1B and O1C. So I'm going to have to look those up. They're very tiny. I don't know whether they can be sort of current or power dissipating resistors for balancing the cells. They do look a bit small for that, but I can't see anything else here that could dissipate uh, enough energy really to effectively balance these cells. Let's see if I can get these out by pushing on these terminals. Perhaps I'll need a screwdriver for that. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, there it goes. So let's take a look at what these cells are. And they're Grizzly. Ah, wait a minute. Grizzly is something to do with Lidl, because I remember that from my lawnmower. Uh, Parkside. Ah, yes, we have Grizzly Tools GmbH. Um, Gross, something or other. Gross Ostheim, Germany. So they've obviously put their own wrappers on these cells. They're saying there's 3.6 volts 2000 milliamp hours and 18650s but there isn't much more that can be gleaned from that okay let's open the bigger one so this one is the better value uh, pack because i'm expecting six cells inside here for my uh 10 49 four screws on this one this is a bizarre uh, form factor, isn't it? It starts off with this form factor, which a lot of 12 volt power tools are using this because it's a three cell triangle arrangement, I suppose. But then it has this sort of add on bit at the bottom where the cells are laid out in a flat arrangement. It's a curiosity. I was quite intrigued, but it's a lot of cells for very little money. Let's see what they are. Are they going to be grizzly? Okay, I was wrong about the number. We've got three cells clearly in the turret bit or the triangular bit and another three cells in the bottom part. 
quite a bit of whoops, fresh air around those. This feels loose, so that that looks like it's going to slide off. Yep, it does. And then we've essentially got uh, the same thing as this. I think these are, um, well, they're certainly the same grizzly cells. I've got a feeling they're even the same date code, but it's a strange arrangement, isn't it? Yeah, so it's the same cells. It's the uh, Grizzly 3.6 volt, same date code 2019 uh, On this board, again, we've got two MOSFETs, and these are actually uh, International Rectifier IR MOSFETs. Try and get in a little bit closer. So these look like they are IRL. I'm pretty sure the L stands for logic levels. So they have a low uh, gate voltage threshold. IRL, something like R8726, something of that order. Now there are two little 8-pin chips here which quite prominently have 2222 displayed on them. Is that KS2222? See if I can get that in the light. KS2222. There's a device down here. It's, um, oh, is that 3-pin or 4-pin? That's an odd thing. That's a TP something S2045. Could look that one up. And then again, we've got a controller here. Let's see if I can get a number off that. Uh, it's difficult getting this in the light. But I think that's a B7790500. Or something like that. I'll have to look a few of these up. Now this, they've got three connectors which are marked plus, minus and T. So T presumably is the temperature sensor, but there's an additional button on the top there. I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, I thought it might be something in the charger, but intriguingly the charger only has two connections. There's no connection for minus. It just has plus and T. So does it charge the batteries through the thermistor? And therefore, if the thing goes over temperature, it doesn't charge. But that's really bizarre that there's no actual negative connection down inside the charger. Just uh, positive and T. And certainly no additional connector for that little button on the top. So that's weird. Yes, that's the weirdest arrangement of uh, cells I've ever seen. Now, I assume that these three must be in series and these three must be in series but these three must be in parallel with these three so a bit of a wiring job for that that button is actually connected through a resistor let's get in closer and it's actually marked there are some little labels here let's just come up so that it focuses so that's positive that's negative this is t and this is actually marked id um, and there's a resistor there, it's a 4, 2 or 4, 3, it's very hard to see the value of that. There's some sort of resistor going from ID to the temperature sensor. So that's not in the charger, but is, uh, is there another connector in the actual tool for that connector, or is it just there for no reason? So I can't find much on these KS2222s, but the way they're connected it looks to me like we've got three pins connected on one side, four pins connected on the other, and a single pin uh, connected separately. So I'm pretty sure these are MOSFETs. Uh, not as powerful, clearly, as these uh, IR MOSFETs here, but something is being switched off by these MOSFETs. Now, what's this TP, whatever it is? Well, that one, which I believe is a TPSS 2045L, is a complete Google whack. Um, I've got absolutely no results at all for that. It's an odd thing. It's got a tab at the one end and two connections at the other. So it might just be a diode or a dual diode or something like that. Um, I think I'll just look at that controller. Well, this appears to be a TI uh, BQ77905. Three cells in series to 20 cells in series. Ultra low power, voltage, current, temperature, and open wire stackable lithium ion battery protector. And applications are power tools, which is what these batteries are for. Garden tools, uh, light electric vehicles, and energy storage systems. Hmm. 
10.8 volt to 72 volt packs. That's interesting. This thing is um, a battery protector and it has um, a full suite of protections, full suite of voltage, current and temperature protections. But there's no mention on here about balancing. So is it the case that these power tool packs these days just aren't balanced? <laughs> they rely on sort of uh, cells that are accurately matched and they just don't balance. I don't know. So what's interesting is later on they talk about in this detailed description that there, there is a cell voltage, over voltage and under voltage detection and protection presumably. So my guess is that this thing can actually detect whether one cell is getting close to its maximum voltage and will shut off the charge FET and it can also detect if one any one cell is uh, approaching its minimum voltage and shut off the discharge FET but it doesn't actually balance the cells. So if they go out of balance all that's going to happen is that the pack capacity will fall dramatically. There's nothing in this data sheet about balancing. Uh, here's a functional block diagram. There's nothing on there about balancing. And here's actually a flow chart. And it says check over voltage cell one, check over voltage cell two, check over voltage cell N. And down here we've got check under voltage cell one. So it is checking over voltage and under voltage on a cell basis but it can't actually put the cells back into balance if they get out of balance. So that appears to be how these battery packs work. Now you can generally see if there's something printed on the cell, there's some stuff there you can see on this pink one and some stuff up here. In fact, it's far easier to see. I can read the actual characters uh, to the naked eye. And I've been looking at these to see whether I can see any markings underneath these grizzly wrappers and I can't see anything so I don't know that there's much to be gained by stripping all these wrappers off. I'd rather like these power tool batteries to remain usable. So we can't actually tell um, who they're manufactured by. I'll, I'll just look up to see whether someone's done an analysis of these grizzly cells. So it looks like that's going to remain an unknown who actually manufactures these cells. They're rebadged with Grizzly, which is connected with Lidl. But it looks to me like these low cost power tool batteries are not balanced. They're just protected. And I imagine that the protection is mainly to protect uh, the manufacturer against um, sort of fires and problems with these battery packs. They're safe, but it doesn't look like they're balanced in such a way that would uh, give them a longer life. So maybe they're safe, but who cares about the lifespan? But certainly if you can get these things uh, with a 30% discount so that you're getting six uh, two amp hour cells for £10.50, which makes them, according to my calculation, £1.75 each, that's a pretty good deal, assuming that these cells are good. I think we will have to assume that they are. So that was a quick uh, strip down of Parkside's, or Lidl Parkside's uh, 12 volt battery series. Um, looks to me like they're protected but not balanced. Cheerio.